Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to create an image of a figure emanating a spiritual aura of light like the kinds in religious paintings and iconography seen throughout history. You can start with any photo or image, however the results will be most effective if the subject is wearing light-colored flowing clothing like a shawl or robe. This document is 960 by 1180 pixels with a resolution of 72 pixels per inch. The first step is to create a selection around your figure in order to extract it from the background. There are many ways to make selections, so choose the method that's the easiest and most effective for you. For this image, I'll use the Quick Selection tool by dragging it across the figure until it's all selected. Cut and copy it from the background by pressing Ctrl J on a PC or Command J on a Mac. Go to the New Layer button and press Ctrl or Command to make a new layer below the active layer. Click on your foreground color and type in 654B0C. We'll fill the empty layer with this new foreground color by pressing Alt Delete on a PC or Option Delete on a Mac. Press Ctrl or Command J to make a copy of it and go to View and make sure Rulers and Snap are checked. Click on the small double box icon to make the foreground and background colors default to black and white respectively. Then invert them by clicking on the small curved double arrow or by pressing X. Open your Transform tool by pressing Ctrl or Command T. Click on the left ruler and drag out a guideline to the center of the transform. It will snap into place because we have snap checked. Drag out a guideline from the top ruler to approximately the center of the figure's head. Then press enter or return. Open your brush tool and type in 1200 pixels and a hardness of zero. Change the blend mode to color dodge. Go to the center of the crosshairs and click down once. I'd like to bring back some of the color near the edges of the image. To do this, click off the eyeball of the figure to hide it. Click on the Layer Mask button to make a layer mask next to the active layer. Invert the foreground and background colors and for the brush size, type in 1000 pixels and 70% hardness. Change the blend mode to normal. Click down once over the center of the crosshairs. Invert the layer mask by pressing Ctrl I on a PC or Command I on a Mac. Notice the aura ends closer in so we see more of the background color around the edges of our image. Click on the New Layer button to make a new layer. We'll name it Ring. Click on the foreground color and click on the brightest yellow of your image then click OK. Open your elliptical marquee tool and go to the center of the crosshair. Press Shift and Alt on a PC or Shift and Option on a Mac and drag out a circular selection approximately halfway between the bright yellow circle and the edge of your document. Go to Edit and Stroke. Make the width 20 pixels and the location Center. Press Ctrl or Command D to delete the selection. Go to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. We'll blur it by 20 pixels and reduce its opacity to 40%. Let's make rays of light emanate from the center. Make a new layer and make the foreground and backgrounds black and white. Click on the foreground color and make the brightness 50%. Fill the empty layer with the foreground color and press D to make the foreground and background colors default back to black and white.
go to Filter and Filter Gallery. Open the sketch folder and choose Halftone Pattern. Make the size 1, the contrast 50, and the pattern type line. Open your transform tool and when you see a curved double arrow rotate the transform 90 degrees. Go to the top middle of the transform and when you see a straight double arrow press shift and alt on a PC or shift and option on a Mac and drag it up. Then press enter or return. Open the channels panel and click on the lower left icon which makes a selection of all the tonal values of the image. Open back up your Layers panel and drag the line pattern to the trash since we have an active selection of it. Make a new layer and we'll name it Radial. Press I to open your eyedropper tool and click on the brightest yellow of your image. Fill the selection with that color and delete the selection. Go to Filter, Distort and Polar Coordinates. Choose Rectangular to Polar, then click OK. Open your Transform tool and drag it up until the center axis point snaps to the crosshairs. Go to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. We'll blur it by 3 pixels and reduce its opacity to 17%. Make a copy of it, change the Blend Mode to Dissolve, and the opacity to 6%. Let's copy the layer mask to the radial layer. To do this, press and hold Control Alt on a PC or Command Option on a Mac and drag it up to the radial layer. Repeat this for the sparkly layer above it. Let's name the layer Sparkles. Make a new layer and name it Wider Radial. Open your Custom Shape tool and choose Shape. Click on the color box and click on the color picker icon. Type in a nice golden yellow, FBC F04. Click on the arrow next to the Shape thumbnail and click on the gear icon. Choose Large List and click on Symbols. Click OK to see just the symbols in the Shapes window. We'll use Registration Target 2. At the top, click on the gear icon and choose Define Proportions and From Center. Go to the center of the crosshairs and drag out the shape. Press Ctrl or Command H to hide the shape's work path and guidelines. Go to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. Click OK to rasterize the shape. We'll blur it by 10 pixels. Change the blend mode to soft light and the opacity to 36%. Drag a copy of the layer mask to the wider radial layer. Make a new layer and we'll name it Star. Open the Polygon tool and click on the color box. Click on the bright yellow we used earlier in the recently used colors. Click on the gear icon. Make sure star is checked and indent the sides by 90%. The sides are 4. Go to the center of the crosshair and drag out the shape. Press and hold shift to snap it vertically. When it's almost to the edge, release. Press Ctrl or Command H to hide the path. Go to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. Click OK to rasterize the shape. We'll blur it by 10 pixels and click OK. Reduce the opacity to 80%. Let's group all of the layers that comprise the Aura into a folder. Go to the Ring layer and Shift click on it. This highlights all the layers in between this layer and the top layer. Press Ctrl or Command G to group them into a folder. Let's name it Aura. Make the figure visible and active. We'll name it Original Figure. Make a copy of it and hide the original. Go to Filter, Blur, and Surface Blur.
will blur the radius by 10 pixels and the threshold by 10 levels. Surface Blur blurs everything except the edges which it keeps intact. Notice the differences as I go back and forth. Go to Filter and Filter Gallery. Open the Distort folder and choose Diffuse Glow. We'll make the graininess 0, the glow amount 6, and the clear amount 20. Next, we'll adjust the color cast, giving the figure a golden yellow hue. Click on the Adjustment Layer button and choose Photo Filter. Click on the Clip to Layer icon. This makes the Adjustment Layer effect just the one layer beneath it. If we don't clip it, the Adjustment Layer will affect all the layers beneath it in the Layers panel. Choose Warming Filter 81 and increase its density to 100%. They say the eyes are the windows to the soul, so let's modify the eyes and eyebrows. Go to Filter and Liquify. Click on the Zoom tool to zoom into the eyes. Press and hold the space bar to move the image in the window. Click on the Bloat tool and press down briefly over each eye to make them a bit larger. To increase or decrease the size of your brush tip, press the right or left bracket key. Click on your Forward Warp tool and drag the corners of the eyebrows up to give your figure an expression of openness and innocence. When you're done, click OK. Click on the FX button and choose Outer Glow. Click on the color box and tap down on the brightest yellow of your image. Click OK. The blend mode is screen, the opacity is 60%, and the size is 50 pixels. Now there's an outer glow surrounding the edges of the figure. Let's add an inner glow to the edges. Choose Inner Glow and click on the color box. Tap down again on the brightest yellow and click OK. Make the opacity 30% and the size 40 pixels. Let's blend the light from the aura around the top edges of the figure's head. Click on the Layer Mask button to make a layer mask next to the figure. Open your brush tool and make the size approximately 80 pixels, a hardness of 0%, and an 80% opacity. Now brush around the top of the head to reveal the aura layer underneath the figure. The last step is to make a thick border surrounding the edges of our image. Make the top layer active and make a new layer above it. We'll name it Border. Open your Rectangular Marquee tool and drag a rectangle across the entire document. Go to Edit and Stroke. We'll make the width 20 pixels and the location inside. Delete the selection. Enjoy recreating a religious iconic figure like the ones you've seen through time. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.